Let's start with the script 6a. This is what we have done so far here. We started with our Sentinel-2 collection. We applied some filters. Uh, we also are now not defining our geometry by a point, but we are taking our admin2 collection, selecting a particular admin2 region that we want, and then we are using that as a geometry. So one change that we did is here in line five is once you apply a filter to your feature collection and you have your admin2 polygon, there's a function called dot geometry. So you have a feature collection. A feature collection has some polygons, some attributes, and if you just want to get the geometry of that particular polygon, there's a function called dot geometry. So when we do this, we say whatever filter features were selected, we just get the geometry of that, and we store this in the geometry variable. So now we have the polygon representing this particular uh, region that we have used. We then use the geometry in our bounds filter here to say, find me, oops. find me a, a all Sentinel images collected in 2019 over this polygon, and then we do the median composite. We're also using this new function that we've not used before. It's called map.centerObject. In the first script, we use set center. So you have a lat long. You can say set my map to the center of this. But many times you say I've selected this polygon. I want to zoom to that polygon. So if you miss that zoom to feature from your desktop GIS, this is what it does, map.center object. You give any image or a polygon, it'll just zoom to that. So this also helps you find wherever this is. And we have our median composite image, and we have a geometry. So this is what we've done so far. And it kind of works. We get all images collected over this admin2 region. We do a composite, and we have our polygon here. But most of the time, you do not want pixels outside of this. Right? You say, I'm interested in this admin2 polygon. Why do you get all these images? Because the way filters work is you get all images that intersect the polygon. So images are 100 kilometers by 100 kilometers, and all images that intersect this polygon are found here. So next step, what we want to do is we say, let's just remove all pixels that are outside of this geometry. And that's the clip function. Right? So we say, let's clip the image to our boundary that we have used. Right. Any questions on the code that we've done so far? Starting on script 6a. All right, so we have our image, and we'll define a new variable called clipped, and we'll say image.clip. So there's a clip function. This takes a geometry, a polygon, that we need to clip from. So we say clip to this geometry. And now, instead of displaying our image, we'll just say, we'll just display the clipped image. So you can see our nicely clipped image for our region. Uh, if you've been doing GIS, you want to get to this point, everybody says, can you show me how to clip my data? Because that's like the first thing you do in a GIS is that you want to clip your image so you have less pixels to work with. And in Earth Engine, is exactly the opposite. You clip at the very end. In the user guide, there is a section on a warning. Do not clip unless you really want to clip. So clipping at the beginning will not reduce the work. It'll actually increase the overload on the Earth Engine. So in Earth Engine, you always display right clip right before you want to display or export. Right? You do not clip the data in between. So again, this is a hard habit to kind of get rid of because uh, you are used to say, get my data, I will clip my images, and then do this. Do not do this. Uh, all the functions in Earth Engine which compute statistics or anything will always ask you what region you want. And you can give your polygon there, but do not clip your images till the very end. So here we are clipping this image. 
uh, at the end, just for display. You can even just say map.add layer image.clip. Right? You can just do it clip at the very end, and you can get your result. But again, when you are exporting this, this is what you'd want. You want only the pixels that are selected for your region. Okay. Questions on clipping? Can geometry have several polygons? Yes, geometry could be a multi-polygon. Uh, even here, what happened is, imagine you had a in list here, or we just say I have, I'll remove this one filter. Right. So it says my admin two is all admin two in one state, and when you say that dot geometry, that'll be the union of all polygons that are there. So you can use it that way, so they give me the union of polygons, or you can have different polygons, and when you do dot geometry, it'll be a multi-polygon feature, and you can clip to that. Uh, yeah, sorry, from when you were saying that for any function, yeah. it would, oh. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so when you run a function or an analysis that you can tell it what region to work under, uh, that matters for how long it'll take to run. You just don't need to, the clipping is really just for visualization purposes. Yes, yeah, so uh, all Earth Engine functions will ask you for a geometry to run your analysis, and if you add a clip, that adds an additional overhead to the system, to that I want to remove the pixels and then do the stats, so don't do that. Uh, clipping is mostly for visual thing that you want to remove. And one of the worst things you can do in Earth Engine for computation is I have my Sentinel-2 collection. I will clip every image and then work with it. Right? That is going to slow your system down because that just adds so much overhead. Just work with the whole thing. At the end, when you are exporting or you know, visualizing it, you can clip your images then. Okay, let's do our exercise, 6C. Simple, uh, in the previous script, we had selected an admin two region of your choice. So you would want to just go and replace them here. In line two and three, just replace those admin one and admin two region. And when you run the script, it should just display the clip composite. So this is a, just to show, see your region uh, as a median composite clipped to your selected admin two region. So try out exercise 6C to display your clip composite. If anybody needs help finding your region, first thing you need to do is add this admin2 layer on the map, inspect it to find the names of the places, and then you can replace it. Or you can use the one from the previous script. Uh, Emil, uh, this is a question. Yeah. That last question. Um, so, if you have multiple analysis, um, do you need to tell it which region to work on every single time? Or do you tell it the first time and then the product that's created from that first analysis will be already effectively clipped? Uh, so, let's say you want to create composites for like 10 different admin regions. Is that something that you're thinking of? Um, no, more, say, say I want to create a composite, and then I want to calculate an index based on that composite. Would I include the region argument in both, both of those commands? Or if I only included in the first command, would that clip? Yeah, so the question is, if I want to create an index of this composite, would I clip both the image and then do the composite, or how do I do this? Uh, so we're gonna do this in the next section. The way you would do this is you will first compute the composite image, you compute an index, and say I wanna display it, clip it when you display it, or clip it when you export it. Um, so, right, so, yeah, that's right. So, 
when you run the composed median dot median so oh, right. so even in this case would it run faster if when we ran the composite component so the where are we? yes so when you run the median if you if you include it in that this command doesn't take a region okay. but if your question is if I clipped everything here and then did the composite will it be faster no uh, you you can just run this this doesn't take any region parameter so it just says whatever images are there I'm going to create a median composite and that's going to be very efficient and fast and you can clip your image afterwards here Maybe I'll come back to it. Yeah, I think when we do the index, I think we'll see that how uh, uh, you can compute an index while you're doing the composite. So I think that'll make it more clear. Anybody needs help with the finding your region? You don't need this geometry, so delete this geometry from here. Delete that. Delete. Yeah. So you have already done the filter, and the geometry is your region. So that works. Yes, I changed. Yeah, and then you can just run that. Yes, I run, but. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. Just give me. Can you use? I think there's some problem with this. Uh, can we just maybe a typo somewhere? First thing, I need to change my point, my area. No, you don't need to change the area. So let's say I'm adding the whole admin to here. And let me inspect. This is the region? Yeah. This has Amazonas and Oh, yes, OK. Oh, it's, it's opposite. Yeah, that's the reason. And then you can remove this line four and then Okay, I'm going to show this again. Uh, so if you want to locate your region, the first thing you would do is I would comment out everything. Comment out everything, and first I'll just add the admin to, to my map. You add the whole admin to, and then you switch to the inspector tab. Click on any polygon that you want to use using the inspector and find the names for the admin2 and admin1 names. Replace it here and that's the region that you want to work with. Right? So you need to use the inspector, add this admin2 layer and then you can select and use the region that you want. Okay, please raise your hand if uh, you need help. I was trying to add a new um, polygon, and I was using this function, the yeah, in list. Uh, and I, almost I, there. I think you just the, you need to give a list. Uh, that was it. Because I was getting that message, yeah. and I didn't understand. Now I think it should just work. Thank you. So in the in list, it doesn't give you any. 
any rules around what type of invention? Yeah, it's a list of objects. It just needs to be a list. So you need to understand square brackets here. Yeah. Were you able to do it? All right, I'm uh, uh, going to move on. Please raise your hand if you need help. But we're going to do the last part where I'm assuming all of you are displaying your clipped composite for your region. The next step is how do you download that? Okay, so let's do the last script for our part one, export. <laughs> 